I'm Shashi and this is Curry Soup. So today we are back to three videos you can't unsee part three, mainly because this is the video a lot of y'all requested. So let's get straight to it. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and we can get straight to the video. Okay, the first story is kind of sad and a bit heart touching. It's a story about a, a cemetery and people who visit the cemetery often complain about vandalism problems there. Because every night someone seems to come and desecrate the tomb throw away the flowers, everything is in a mess in the morning. So one fine day, a lady decided to attach a camera to a tree there to capture what's going on at night in the area. And the next day when she came to check, she found this footage. So when they found this footage, initially they thought a kid was missing in the cemetery or someone brought a kid to visit the cemetery at night because the kid kept taking flowers and peeking into other tombs and everything. So they showed the managers of the cemetery and the moment the managers saw the video, they, they were so shocked. They knew exactly who that girl was. So the next day, they called up this a, a lady and to come over to see the video. And the moment the lady saw the video, she started crying. It was her daughter, Fabiola Gonzalez, who died died earlier this year and just by looking at it it's it's a parent child thing just by looking at the picture she knew exactly who that was it was a child from the dress to the to the hairstyle to the body language to the shoe she was wearing she knew exactly who it was Fabiola Gonzalez story is kind of a sad story I'm not gonna get into that today if you would like to know more you can google her name and you know exactly what case it is so this was footage number one video number two is a bit scarier this is from a Russian go hunter uh, by the name of Dennis. So this guy goes around to old houses, abandoned houses to see whether ghosts are real or not. And one particular day, he got a phone call from this lady. Her son was a bit devastated with losing his grandparents and wanted to know more what, what actually happened in their house. So he went to stay in their house for a week. On the last day of the week, he called up the mother again and said, I can't take it anymore. The house seems to be shaking by itself. I keep hearing the grandparent's voice threatening him and everything. After that, immediately, the call got cut and the mom can't call the son back again. And the next day, the son was found dead outside the house, kind of like threw out of the house. And the cause of death after post-mortem was heart attack. And he was a rather young boy, so it was quite impossible to have a heart attack. So this mother called Dennis, the ghost hunter guy, to go check out what exactly happened from a paranormal point of view. And here's the video of what happened there. So to investigate, what he did was he set up camera all over the house and left it for a night to see what he can actually capture on the camera. So for the first scene, let's watch it together and see what happens. And there you go. Something shadowy moving across the hall. And 20 minutes after that, this happens. The whole house starts shaking so violently. You can actually see bricks there are starting to chip off one by one. The curtain is moving and you can actually hear the vibration of the entire house. Keep in mind, there's no railway track or anything nearby the house. So the next day, once Dennis found this footage, he already see what's going on in the house. And unlike any normal person would do, he went in to investigate further. So he went in and he started questioning, is there anyone here or not? либо шкаф все проходит и не понимает либо комод Опа. походу здесь сейчас камера не будет устанавливаться сейчас просто попробую на вспышку 
So he went into the house and he checked out everything and in one particular drawer he found these weird pictures. It's of multiple people and completely distorted, haggard looking faces. And all of a sudden, he heard something. Almost as if someone was slamming the door, slamming the wall. At this point, so that he could actually attract whatever spirit there was, he switched off all the light and only used one flashlight from his camera to record the video. That's why it's rather dark. So what was that? Was that a ghost? Because in this particular video, we don't see any apparitions or anything. But what do you think that was? What was that sound? And what was the creepy pictures in the drawer there? Comment your thoughts down below. I'm really curious to know what. And the third video is about this guy named Abiyul Hernandez. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. So he has been doing Facebook Live because he has been complaining that there has been these weird noises in his house. So at first, just to show the people what's exactly going on, he goes towards his wind chime which seems to be interacting with him. So it's either because there's no wind draft inside the house and every time he asks questions, the wind chime seems to chime. So here he's showing that there's no strings attached to it. So he's stabilizing it. Hola. ¿Qué quieres? Every time he asks question, the wind chime just makes sound. ¿Qué quieres? After that incident, the next day he started hearing sounds again. So initially there was sort of knocking from the window. Keep in mind that he's on the second floor of the building. There you go again. <laughs> Seems like somebody is knocking the door. Gets louder. So you can see there's no one out there. Nobody's out there. Impossible for anyone to run away that fast as well. So what he does, the next day he sets up the camera while he's at work. He sets up the camera so that he can record what's going on in the house. And this happens. You can see the door just slide it open. And now there's footsteps. Almost as if someone's walking out from the door. The wind chime goes off. Keep an eye on the guitar. And in the shelf, the second row of the shelf. What was that? Still leans 
for some reason the spirit or whatever it was kept targeting this red book he does read it out but it's in mexican and i can't understand what's actually going on there pero el motivo de estar grabando es porque huele muchísimo perfume de mujer y se escuchan otra vez los so that particular night again the knocking sounds continue He can actually follow the sound which is moving towards this particular room. Okay, go, the wind chime just went off. Did you see that? Let me just go back and show you that particular part again. Keep an eye on the teddy bear. looking up and boom So as this went on, he started to notice something very weird. Every night there is light coming out from the room. So what he did, he went and unplugged all the light bulbs, everything inside the room, switched off everything, and he came out. Keep in mind this is three o'clock in the morning. and there's not much sunlight at 3 o'clock in the morning to begin with if this happens and showing the light bulb there's no light bulb to begin with and there's no other light source in the house it's 3 o'clock in the morning so there's no sunlight as well See that? So finally, after that, he started seeking advice from witch doctors, or priests, or something. And and a belief in their culture is if you put flour on the floor, you can summon the spirit. So that's what he does here. And this is where things get very very scary. So he puts the flour. He comes out. Now he's gonna try to communicate with the spirit. Hola. Like I said, the spirit gets particularly irritated whenever he says he's going to leave. So when the final sentence, when he says he's going to leave, look at what happens contigo. to the flower. Ya me voy, eh? There. Did you see that? Everything is moving in the room. And he says the temperature there just dropped. It was so cold inside the room. And then, puta madre, the door slams shut. Déjame salir. He goes out and look at the sofa there. He hasn't realized it yet, but the sofa is actually balancing on the edge. 
it's not completely tipped over but it's balancing on the edge through the brook again. And he says the entire house just got so cold. And in case you're curious, this was the last video by this guy ever. After that, his entire Facebook TikTok all went quiet. People who were following his series were genuinely concerned, but there was no way of actually contacting him and finding out what happened. So what do you think happened there? Was that a spirit or was that just very good video editing skills? What do you think that was? Comment down below. And my question to you, is there any other story you would like me to cover? Any weird, creepy, ghostly stories that you've heard of before and you want to know more on? Kindly comment down below. I'll do my research and I'll present that video to you. So until the next video, bye-bye.